I want the things. I don't want symbols. I want the things themselves. Symbols and metaphors are tools we use in our perception and elaboration of reality. Through them, and through a narrative that feeds on them, we strive to approach the unknown by transferring meaning and experience from that which is already known to us, creating relations between objects and situations, attempting to reach an organic view of reality. We are Symbols and metaphors are also deeply human <laughs> elements in the way we relate to reality. Language is the tool we use to create relations between the various attributes of reality. perception of these attributes, giving them names that apparently garner, garner, garner their essence. But words are labels that stick on the things. They are not the things. We might never know what things are because the names we give them are just that. The names we gave them. define reality, but the relation we have with it, they probably reveal more about us and about the objects they are supposed to describe. But this is exciting, exciting, exciting. finally be able to give up the possession of things and devote myself to establishing a relation between them. Where I am a part of reality as much as the objects I am relating to is the very essence of my way of existing in the world. And yet I do not want symbols. I want the thing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Metaphors are very useful in psychotherapy, especially in the treatment of traumas, because they can gesture at topics that are too large, too strange, or speech, pointing at realities, 
outside of the culturally constructed frame of the normal. Metaphors can say the unsayable can reach across gaps in memory or permit expression where speech has been directly or indirectly forbidden. According to that, they Maybe then, maybe then metaphors, symbols, fictions have something to do with fear. Maybe they are a way to protect ourselves from what is not. what is not known, and therefore disturbing, from that which is instead known and reassuring. Yet even though they can help to bridge the gap between reality and our understanding, they can never remove the entirely, although at times they do create this illusion. the things themselves. There are situations where symbols and metaphors, C, C, C's, could be useful. Because there are no known narratives. Able to do justice to the unknown that we seek to comprehend. Those are exactly the situations that, in the end, define the essence of the human condition. The human condition. And those that, for my inner necessity, are the focus of my attention in the first place. And therefore, as a musician and a person of theater, in these cases, language ceases to be effective. Wow, the reality of theater, a theater that renounces telling, but simply exists, it lives, it breathes, might have the possibility to overcome this limit, overcome this limit, to overcome this limit, to overcome this limit, to overcome Thank <laughs> you.